Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Nightmare 2. It is the morning of day 40. We are headed to this job for Trader Hugh and then we're going to go see most of the traders and then head back here and fight the day 40 horde, which is pretty exciting. But you know what's more exciting than that? I just launched another Freaker campaign. If you don't know what Freaker is, it's a great brand with great products, all of which are made here in the United States. However, we can ship internationally so it doesn't matter where you are we can ship to you i'll put up an image of the products available this time around and the link to the campaign is down below now we have to hit a minimum of 250 packs sold to meet minimum quantity production requirements because like i said everything is made from scratch and there are minimums you have to meet in order to get the machines turned on also just like last time over half of the profits are going to the saint jude children's research hospital so if you want to support me this channel and children and get some cool g9 merch in the process again the link is down below oh and one more thing everyone that contributes is going to get a handwritten postcard from me with some free G9 stickers. Is that a bunker? Oh no, it's the Red Mesa. Oh shit, that's what we're doing here in the desert. I thought this job was gonna be in the wasteland for sure. Looks like we're just shy of the wasteland. All right, Red Mesa it is then. That's cool, we can do that. This is just to uh, clear the area. There's no zombies in there, so I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip most of the loot too. You know, all the bullshit loot anyway. Definitely grab the main loot. I'm gonna check this uh, army truck. You know, the second I step in this place, I always wake up zombies. Like, there's no way to avoid it. Yep. Drop them. Come on, bird. There we go. I just heard an explosion. That means there's probably a zombie coming from behind me because there are landmines surrounding this place. Dead, bitch. Yep, right there. She tried to sneak up on us. Didn't work out for her, though. All right. I think we're good. Take the shotgun shells. There's a zombie over here. It's a crawler. I think that'll do it. For up here, more uh, landmines going off. Yeah, let's just get... Get to it. Close that door. There, is there a crate in this elevator shaft? No, it's garbage. I'm good on that. Here we go. Oh, down goes Big Mama. Let's get her killed. She dead. Oh, shit. Back up, lady. She dead. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Thought I was going to have a bunch there. Couple more right here. Damn it, you skinny bastard. Can't hit him. <laughs> like shooting a fucking toothpick. Got him. Take the machete parts, scrap the arrows. Good on the plastic parts, and uh, that'll do it for in here. Let's keep it moving. Some trash up there. We got an ammo pile. More shotgun shells. Some armor parts. Can I get a coffee? No, I can't. Uh, I'm good on the gas. Crafting plenty of gas after the oil shale we mined. There's probably a zombie in there. No? Really? Oh! I knew it. He dead. Okay, we're going up. That door is locked, I'm sure. We got to go through here. I will grab this crate. Working stiff tools. Let's see what we got. Book we already read and some sledgehammer parts. Sell both of those things. I know there's a zombie in here. Yep, come on out. Two of them. Dead. Anything in here worth grabbing? No. All right, now this part we have to drop down. Go through that opening right there. Is that a plug? 
No. All right, let's see what we got. Crawler. Usually there's a dog right there, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's uh, a bit further in. Yep. I knew it. See? When in doubt, go deeper. That's what my wife always says. And I'm sure that's what she meant by it, too. You know, when you're exploring caves or whatever. I mean, what else could she have meant by that? I don't remember there being a gym in here. Can I get through that hole in the wall? I don't think so. Good on that poncho. We got a zombie. Is it behind me? I don't think so. Nope, it's right here. Dead. I think there's another one, though. Let's go check. Oh, Sleepy Pete. Dead. Let's check these bookshelves. Paper, no. Paper, no. Paper, no. I'll take that. We'll sell it because we are going to see some traders after this. That's clear. That's locked. Stalls uh, appear to be clear. No first aid there. That door's locked. Okay. Um, through here. Oh, that's a drone mod. That's the uh, armor plating mod. I don't think D needs armor, does she? I mean, I might as well make it because I don't have any other mods unlocked yet. Oh, biker. Mm, I got the sneak damage on him. That's nice. That guy's down. Dead. I can't get through the window. Ah, screw it. Oh, hit him with the dart. Dead. I uh, don't need the aloe. I'll take the bandage, though. Now we got a full stack. Um, I think this is the way to go, but the ladder continues to go up, and I'm pretty sure there's something up there. Like a crate or something. Maybe a hidden stash? A weapons bag. That's what it is. I'll take that stuff and some food. Here we go. Down and out. Man, I hope we get some demolishers tonight. I mean, I would think we will. It is night 40, and I've had the XP cranked up for quite a while now. It would be nice to get them. This way I can kind of learn of any possible weaknesses the base might have. That's not a plug. That one might be, but too late. I already walked past it. You know, because after tonight... We're going to flash forward, and I'm going to do some work to the base, obviously, um, before we bring on the, the largest horde possible. So it would be nice to experience at least one horde with demolishers before I do that, because um, we may need to change some things around. But it is what it is. We're either going to get them or we're not. Let's close that door. This is all basically food shit in here, but I'm going to check it out anyway. Let's see. Some food and some red tea. We're not really hungry, so... Whatever. Nope. I'll throw that on the floor, and I'll take that, actually. The hobo stew is not bad. Ooh, blackstrap coffee. And what the hell, we'll drink the, the chicken soup. Okay. Let's move on here. Should be a bunch of zombies in this place. Let's see if we can get a Mega Crush. Nope. Coffee, though. Got a zombie down here. Here we go. Back up, lady. Close that door. 
Um, this might be a job for the M60. That wasn't so bad. Look at that, big boy. Red Mesa, it used to have a pretty big lore about it. You know, back in Alpha 16, this was like one of the tougher POIs. I don't find it that tough, to tell you the truth, anymore. Sugar butts, eye candy, I'll take them both. You know, I imagine that's probably partly due to all of the other tougher POIs that have been added since Alpha 16. I don't think we drop down there. Let's make sure the bathrooms are clear. We got a duffel bag. Take that and that. Actually, I don't need the bandage. We got a full stack. Bathroom's clear. Don't need that shit. And, uh, yeah, this is the way to go. I will take the first aid kit and the steroid. There are definitely zombies in here. Can we get a look at any of them? Nope. They're all waking up. There are stairs right there. She's dead. Are they getting stuck on the stairs? Nope. Well, the other ones are, kind of. Yeah, take your time, fuckers. He dead. All right. That's done. Desert Vulture, treating us well. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. All right. I like this pistol. It's fun. That's what I look for. And weapons, you know? They don't have to... I don't, I don't always go for the, the best and the most overpowered. I like ones that are just fun to use. I mean, they got to be good, too, you know? It's not fun if the weapon sucks. I think this is pretty much the end here. That's locked. Gotta go through here. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is getting towards the end. Crawler's dead. Let me take the vitamin. Let's check the locker. Iron. Uh, oh, ammo pile. Yeah, this is the end right here. There's gonna be a bunch of zombies up here to deal with, though. Oh boy. Okay, M60 time. Is that guy gonna go around? The one that fell? No, he's kinda just hanging out down there. And that's it. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> we are good. Grab this loot. We'll go see the traders. If we have time left over when we're done seeing all the traders, I don't know. Maybe we'll uh, see about squeezing in some more looting, but I doubt it. I'd rather have a bunch of time to get ready for the horde, make sure I don't fucking forget anything this time. Read that. Take everything else. Oh, okay. Um, let me repair these because I'm going to sell those. And we'll drink this water. I'll make room for some more coin. God damn it. Always a pleasure driving through this shithole. Like I said in the last episode, it's going to be fun doing a whole series here. That's what the next series is going to be. I don't know all of the exact details yet, but I do know we are going to be living in the Wasteland. It's not going to be a Wasteland-only map, but there are ways using the World Generator to make it mostly Wasteland. I think the most we can do is 40% Wasteland, so that's what I'm going to do. 
This way we can still go to the snow biome and the green grasslands and the desert, especially for oil shale when we need to. But the majority of the map will be wasteland and that's where we're going to be living. I've got some more things in the Jeep to sell. Oh shit. I've got a bad feeling about this. Alright, we're good. Deal with his ass later. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be living in the wasteland. The map is gonna be majority wasteland, but that's not all it's going to be. And uh, I also think we are going to build our base from scratch. I haven't done that since the original Nightmare series, so I want to do that again. And since we are going to be building our base from scratch, we're obviously not going to be living in our base. We'll have to find a home, somewhere to live, and then we'll build our base not too far away from home. Um, let's see... Nah, I don't care about that. Batter up. Yep. We're trying to, you know, we're using a club, so I might as well try and max out the batter up series. Here's another one. More shotgun shells and frags. Nice. And uh, that'll do it. Nah, that didn't max it out. Okay. We'll get there. Is that fucking dog still here? Zombie. The dog must have uh, decided to fuck off. All right. It's fine by me. Let's go to Joel's. Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm back again. I know, I was just here yesterday, but I heard you got all new shit, so I decided to come see you again. Gunpowder. 762, shotgun shells. Oh, look at this. Molotovs, grenades. Man, I got so many throwables. It's ridiculous. We could just use throwables tonight. You got to mix it up, though. Can't be using all of our throwables in one go. I mean, we wouldn't even use them all. I got fucking, I don't know, 12 stacks of pipe bombs. It's ridiculous. What the hell is this? Drone morale booster? Okay. I guess D can boost our morale now. I'll check that out in a second. Uh, vehicle expanded seating mod. Oh, that'd be nice if I had some friends, but I don't, so I guess we don't need that. 9mm, 7.62, and uh, what the hell, I'll buy this Wasteland Treasures book. Peace be with you, my friend. That didn't max it out. All right, let's read this, and then we can go here. See what the hell it does. Stamina regeneration is increased by 10% when near the drone. Okay, that's actually not bad. Definitely make that. Let's go see Jen. My senses have picked up something. Hey, what's up, Jen? You don't look so good. Fuck you. you. Get some How you like that? that? Stop putting me down, Jen. Who do you think you are? You think just because you're the last woman left in the world that I just take your shit? Well, you're right. But not anymore. I'm redoing my fuck, marry, kill for seven days to die traitors. From now on, I'm going to fuck Rick. I'm going to marry Joel. and I'm going to kill you. Actually, I'll probably kill... Wreck, that old bastard's got it coming to him. I just knew you'd now shut the fuck up, Jen. Hey, what's up, Hugh? What do you got for me? Steel knuckles? Yep, I'll take those. Oh, here we go. 10,000 coin. 4x4 four four bundle. Uh, I want the coin. That's what I'm after. Alright, let's see what you got in your inventory here. 7.62. AP 7.62. Gunpowder. Contact grenades. Nice. More 7.62. 9mm. 
Buckshot and Molotovs. All right, let's take a look at your stash now. Um, yeah. Take the great heist. Fuck it. Buy all the books now. Might as well try and max out as much of this shit as we can. Look, another expanded seating mod. They all want to rub it in my face that I don't have any friends. That'll do it. Oh, I gotta show you guys something. I put in a couple of blade traps right here on the steps. The game let me place them here, so I put two in. Fuck it, I figured I'd chop the zombies up as they fall down into the base. Into the G-spot. It's a dangerous fucking G-spot, I'll tell you what. If you can find it, you're in for some shit. I wired them up to this, the Blade 1 switch. You know, that was... Uh, Originally hooked up to the blade trap out there that got destroyed. Now it turns on both of these. Oh, you just got chopped up, D. You all right? <laughs> Fuck. Maybe I better make you that armor mod. You know what? Maybe I'll just put you in my pocket so you're safe. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. All right, here we go. Night forty, nightmare two, in the G spot. Let's see how these blade traps work. Hopefully they don't stop the zombies from coming down the steps. Shit. Oh! <laughs> Never mind. Yes. I don't know how long they're going to last out there, especially this first one, because I'm going to be shooting a lot. But, hey, they're doing plenty of work right now. That's all that matters. They're cheap to make. We can just repair them or replace them for the next horde. Here's a cop already. Probably shoot this guy. Don't need a cop blowing up out there. That'll definitely destroy the blade traps. Let's take a recog. And I got plenty of iron to repair these hatches. So I'm going to try and keep them at bay right here all night. Fuck it. Why let them through?
Well, I'll tell you right now, they ain't getting through those hatches. No fucking way. I got six more frags left. Might as well use them. I can make more. Or buy more. No demolishers. That's a shame. Really is. Would've liked to see how uh, that all played out. But, I mean, as it stands, they're not doing really any damage to the steel blocks. They're hardly doing any damage to the hatches. Um, but that's because they're constantly getting shot out with the dart by the dart traps, and by me, and by Junkie. And with the exploding arrows and the throwables, it's like we hardly give them a chance to do anything. The exploding arrows are great because they knock them off their feet and they keep them from doing any damage. But they don't do that much damage to the zombies. You really got to keep shooting them over and over again. Or use the exploding arrows to knock them off their feet and then maybe throw a grenade or two out there or some fire. Haven't even used a Molotov tonight. It's really overpowered. It really is. And I'm assuming most of this is because of the dart traps because that's the one thing that I really never used in the past. I really think what it is, though, is, is just a combination of everything. Whoop, you missed, bitch. Might as well use the rest of this junky ammo. Craft more. I had a full stack junky ammo tonight, and that seems to be just the right amount. Obviously, the more the better, so you don't run out. We need one more point into Robotics Inventor to max that out, and then we can have two junkies shooting, one on either side, and that's just going to be fucking devastating. Actually, we got to put some more points into Intellect, because you got to max out Intellect first before you can max out Robotics Inventor. But that's definitely one of the perks I'll be maxing out before uh, the major horde fight. Matter of fact, I'll probably be bringing a junkie around with me um, while we go do uh, tier 5 jobs just to have our back. I'd hate to die before we get to fight the big horde, you know? I think this is just about it. Except for the birds I've been hearing. We gotta go deal with them. Motherfucker. God damn it. Every single time. Okay. Well, one blade trap left. The other one was destroyed. Holy shit. Quite a few birds. I expected those blade traps to be destroyed. I can't believe both of them weren't destroyed. One of them actually survived the night. Jeez. Fucking bird horde. Come on, bitch. All right. Better get up there and check the roof. Make sure there's no damage up there. Well, the G-Spot held down another horde. Did pretty damn well. We'll eat this eye candy. Let me go drop some shit off first, since we're up here. And we'll go rip through those loot bags. Oh, an impact driver finally. Level 3. That's nice. Level 6 Battle Axe. Take that shit. Finally getting some level 6 items. Level 6 Military Chest Armor. Level 6 Steel Club. This is what I'm talking about. Level 6 Ratchet. Even though I think the level 3 Impact Driver is probably better than that level 6 Ratchet. Another Impact Driver. Only a level 2 that time. A lot of stuff to sell. Another level 6 ratchet. Chainsaw. I'm running out of room here. Alright. That'll do it. Man, three level 6 ratchets. Definitely going to sell those things. I mean, I'll double check and make sure that they're not any better than the level 3 impact driver, but I doubt they are. And then we'll sell them and make a bunch of money. But that's going to be it. I mean, 
you know, uh, obviously we have the conclusion of this series to look forward to. We're going to do the flash forward and we're going to survive in the maxed out world for at least a couple of days. And then we're going to fight the maxed out horde in the G spot. And that's going to be the end of Nightmare 2. I think we uh, did everything we could do here in Navis Gain. And the next series is going to be in the Wasteland, partly in the Wasteland, mostly in the Wasteland, on a random gen map. And I think, to make things a bit interesting, I want to look into what I need to do to add the Compo Pact pack uh, into the world so we have some new interesting POIs to check out. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you're looking forward to the conclusion of this series. Thank you so much for all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare 2, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.